I think trolls are the coolest race on Azeroth. And when I'm done with this video, you will think so too. Welcome back to Miniset Miracles, a series where I go back to every Hearthstone expansion that doesn't have a miniset and make one myself. We finally arrived at the best expansion of all time, Hearthstone's 10th expansion, Rastakhan's Rumble. Rastakhan's Rumble is a competition that takes place once every generation in the Grubashi Arena. Many trolls come from near and far to partake in the contest, and the tournament has finally reached its conclusion. Welcome to the mini set for Rastakhan's Rumble, which I've named Da Grand Finale. Let's take a look at the first card I've made, the legendary Casa Jin the Wavebinder for Priest. May the Loa bless your journey. Casa Jin is a 4 mana 2 4 legendary minion, and he is in charge of the Sandalari Troll's Golden Fleet. He will replace all minions in your hand with golden copies that cost one less. Now on the surface this might look like it basically just reduces the cost of all minions in your hand by one, but Kasajin has some specific synergies. These golden copies would be considered new cards, so Kasajin could for example be played alongside a card like Ra Den, who is currently in standard, or a card like Princess Talaji, who would return to standard with this miniset. But how can that be? Well, my minisets all follow a certain rule set, as you can see on the screen here. But enough about that. Let's see what other cards are in store for us in the Grand Finale miniset. Rastakhan's Rumble introduced the keyword Overkill, which is a bonus every time a card deals excess damage on your turn. In this miniset, Rastakhan has brought his most trusted companions, each with an Overkill effect that will trigger an additional bonus if the minion overkilled by a certain amount. I've also made this card. Oops, sorry, you were not meant to see this card today. I've made this card. Sorry, no, not that one either. What I meant to say is I've made this card. Overperformer is a 2 mana 2 3 minion for Priest, and it has both Overkill and Overheal. When you Overheal it, it will add a random Priest minion to your hand, and if you Overkill with it, it will give you a random Priest spell. I also made a bit of a crazy card. The Iron Troll. What the Iron Troll is doing right now is putting heads in a pot. They have to boil for 20 minutes so the eyes can be used in a second dish, an Iron Raspberry Sorbet. The Iron Troll is a 4 mana 4 4 neutral legendary minion. And when you play him, he will add a 5 cost delicious meal to your hand that summons a 6 6 Grease Fire Elemental. The meal will increase in flavor each turn, which means that it will summon one more elemental, but it will also have a 10% increased chance to burn whenever it does so. This effect always starts at 0%, so at the end of the turn you got the meal, if you didn't play it, it will increase to 2 elementals, but it will also have a 10% chance to burn at the end of your next turn. Then if you didn't play it that turn and it didn't burn, it will increase to 3 elementals, but next turn it will have a 20% chance to burn, and so on. For Druid I made this legendary minion, Horridon. <laughs> Horridon is a 7 mana 4 12 minion and he allows you to choose two enemy minions. Horridon will attack the first minion you chose and then stampede towards the second. This means he will attack all enemy minions between the first target and the second until he either reaches the second target and attacks it or he dies. For some of the other classes, I made some cards that would synergize with the mechanics from the main set. Like Suljin's Apprentice, which is great to use alongside the Suljin hero card. Avatar Shivala, which is basically just a mini version of Shivala. Hook Tusk's First Mate, which is ideal to summon through Hook Tusk and Spawn of Krakwa, which would work well alongside both Krakwa and Sintimo. I also made some more generic spells for both Demon Hunter and Death Knight, since they didn't exist back in Rastakhan's Rumble. The last card I have for you is the final legendary of the set, Rasan, Lore of Kings. Are you king or are you prey? Rasan is a 6 mana 6-6 six, six neutral legendary beast and when you play him he will draw your classes lower. The lower are the legendary beasts and undead each class got in Rastakhan's Rumble, as you can see here. But if your lower already died, Rasan will summon two of your class's spirits instead. And here you can see what the spirits are if you forgot. Right now this card would not work for Death Knight and Demon Hunter since they neither have Loa nor Spirit, but that is something I plan to make for them in future videos. Now sometimes I see a custom card that I like so much that I just have to share with you guys, and that's the case for this card. This card was actually made by a user called Cheese Eating ETC over on Halfcards.net. I just felt it was perfect for this mini set, but I did change a few things like the mana cost and the stats. 
Okay, that's actually it for all the cards I've got for you today, but there's something else I've been wanting to talk about for a while now, so if you're interested in some behind the scenes information, stay a little while longer. Okay, so I realized I haven't always been clear with you guys about my thoughts behind the videos on this channel, so I wanted to clarify a few things. The content on this channel can be sort of categorized into one of three groups, or timelines if you will. There's this series, Mini Sid Miracles, which exists in the same timeline as my Death Knight and Demon Hunter in older expansions videos. All of these cards are meant to coexist, and let's call this the Miracles timeline. Then there's my custom expansions, Tales from the Broken Isles and Mission to Argus, and both of their mini sets. These cards are also meant to coexist, but separately from the Miracles timeline. Let's call this the Expansions timeline. Finally, there's everything else I've made. My expansion predictions, my April Fools video, you name it. Basically everything that isn't part of the Miracles or Expansions timelines. These videos are more random and are not necessarily meant to coexist. Let's just call this the Elseworlds timeline. So for the Miracles timeline, the way I'd imagine it if these cards were actually to be released, they would get released with some time in between them, whenever a new expansion releases. The cards would stay in standard for as long as the expansions they're released with are in standard, so it would probably make most sense to start this cycle at the start of a new expansion year. Now as for the expansions timeline, they would release in kind of a separate parallel dimension if you will, instead of whatever Hearthstone expansion would have otherwise released, but still following the same three expansions per year cycle. The reason I'm telling you guys this now is because I have something else coming out soon for the expansions timeline, the final expansion of the year. I've been working hard at this project and I'm very soon ready to show you guys, but I think I might finish Minicid Miracles first, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for today, thanks for watching, like, subscribe and all that, and I will see you next time.